Hello and welcome. This is Crusader Kings 3 and I'm the Emperor. So glad you can make it. We are playing as a little duke here in Ireland. And I play and I explain all the things I do. If you haven't watched any of these, there are multiple playlists out on my YouTube channel. And this is our most current with the so-called Starter Island of Ireland. Why is it called Starter Island? Because trying to learn Crusader Kings 3, Ireland is pretty safe territory. Well, as we've discovered in Crusader Kings 3, that isn't all that true, to be quite honest. Because, well, the Vikings have a fairly firm hold on the land. And we can't expand forever because we have succession issues, basically. We have confederate petition, meaning everyone inherits equal. So we must take some care not to create multiple duchies right now. And for example, we can't take Ormond or Ennis because if we did, that would give us too much here. Too many de jure counties of this duchy that doesn't exist just yet. So they would then be created. And our lovely little realm would just fall apart. Instead, if we have multiple children at the moment, it'll leave some of our direct holdings in the hands of our brothers, but they will remain without, within our realm. So these things out of the way we have some considerations to make. I'm currently murdering <laughs> pretty much the family of uh, this house, Ivaring, because, uh, well, they have been stirring some trouble here. Next, we want to see where we can go, what we can take, and we would like to expand a little bit further. And I think we'll just take uh, Brefin. This belongs to, let's see, oh, they're at war at the moment anyway. Connacht in the Brefinian conquest of the Erlen of Mehen. So they are attacking them right now. Uh, are they? Yeah. With their ally. Okay, so we're kind of coming to help him, sort of. Costs us a little bit of piety to do this, and we do have the men even without raising our allies, which is important. So we'll raise all our troops here, and then we just march north. And we see what our enemies will do. So first... Okay. Someone lost opinion of us. Not such a bad thing. So the enemy of our enemy is walking away. But they already sieged and took this. So this will be a quick one. Very quick and easy for us. They might engage, which is good for us. Let our enemies fight amongst themselves. And this war has just expired. So they're done with their warring. And we're just sieging. Let's make sure we have the best man on the job, and we sure do. So ideally, we win this one. Yeah. And looks like... So we have a better army commander. We have more traits, more soldiers, higher quality, and more men-at-arm counters. So this should be a fine battle for us indeed. Helping hand. Uh, let's see. Nah, we're, we're not gonna... We already have a great success chance in secrecy. We're not gonna concern anyone here. So they're coming in. Let's, let's have another look at this. So... We have been building our men-at-arms a little bit around what we have around us. And we are facing some pike. We are facing some um, bowmen. Now, neither our armored footmen 
nor all pike are being countered. And the pike are in favor of Ultraman terrain and the armored footmen are countering the pikemen, which the northmen have a lot of. That's why we're getting heavy footmen. The, the, the light horsemen aren't too great, at least not in this phase of the battle. In the, um, in the late battle phase, they will help quite well with getting rid of these. You can see now they are in their advantage and without too many losses looking at the details here we lost 169 they lost 480 18 uh so we did quite well we did quite 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 well now most kills go to our levies that's pretty neat well actually no our light horsemen did kill a whole lot our champions our knights are doing great overall Decent outcome, decent situation. He and his ally can't help. So I'm sure he white pieced out of this one to be able to bring his armies to bear against us. It's interesting because this guy is also our ally, but he joined defending his ally against us. And there we go. Won the war. So we have the little problem here now that this thing is beyond our domain holding size, which is determined by the domain limit. So we are Duke, giving us plus one, uh, plus two. We are Irish, giving us plus one, and our stewardship skill gives us plus one. Now, there are some ways of trying to deal with this. We can check on what our wife is good at. So we check her. And uh, she's not great at uh, stewardship. So pushing her to manage our domain is unlikely going to help us put that. So we'll try. Nope, oh, that didn't change anything. So we put her back to assist ruler so she kind of helps us across the board. Another way to deal with that is give it away. Now this is a fairly decent sized one. Looking at these here, we get levies 156, 130. Up here, 455. Right now, we can't have those levies because, uh, well, we are above our domain limit. So, we should give away something. Something in the south, for example. Now, one way of doing that is we have a son who is betrothed. Might as well give him a title that he's going to inherit anyway. So, we're going to give him Desmond. Why am I giving him Desmond? That's the place I haven't started uh, trying to work on control. So, if we look at that. County control, like this, this is the worst one basically out of the bunch. We're working on county control here, we'll have to work here, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't really need that one. So we're working on this now. Now we are back down to domain limit and um, yeah, the levies, they will work themselves up a little bit more, but uh, I think we'll get more out of this one than we did out of Desmond. So we control this directly. There's more to be had around here. Like, who does this belong to? Ah, we're no longer ill. Very good. So you are part of this. Yeah. So we could go for Ulster. That's something in the north. And that's part of that duchy. So we could hold titles all across Ireland. And they have... Let's see. They have a lot of pike, a lot of light foot, and a lot of armored footmen. Which we don't have anything to counter yet. But we might not need that. So I think getting the Earldom of Ulster right now is probably one of the better choices. Because his ally, who would come fight with him, is still diminished from our last war. Yeah, So... We take advantage of them being weak and him not being super strong. And we'll just grow. What I'm checking constantly, and that's really cru crucial and key early on. Realize what this succession law means. And it's difficult because it's really, really weirdly phrased. Let's read this. On the confederate petition, your titles will be divided equally between your children. New titles may be created for younger realm heirs. What does that mean? It means we have all these titles. 
they will be equally divided. So if we have five children, um, the main and the second main will go to the primary heir and all these others, they will go elsewhere. But if anywhere in our realm, anywhere in our realm is the possibility of creating a high, an equal rank. So we are a duke. And if there's anywhere the possibility to, to create a duchy title, it will be created whether or not we want it. Now this you can use to your advantage eventually, but in the in the beginning it, it's like the most confusing thing I think about playing Crusader Kings 3, the succession. Why did my realm shatter? Because you probably expanded like a sane person and you took things that made sense because they're kind of next to each other and you're already there and all that. You know, it really makes sense what you're doing. Problem is, by doing that, if we press, um, let's see, duchy title shift Q, you can see all the duchy titles. So down here is one that isn't created. You can see it by the little red outline that isn't created yet. Compared to this, like it's slightly translucent. This one here is clear and strong. It's made, it's there, it's in the world for everyone to see, yeah? Up here's another one that hasn't been created yet. And they each, to be created, have their own requirements. So this one, you have to have three of these counties in here. We have two. So unless we have three, it won't be created. Same up here. This is a little bit smaller, so here you need only two. So we can only take one of these counties without running the risk of a duchy being created for one of our heirs upon succession. Yeah? This one here is a little bit more tricky now because it is a... Um, well, it actually isn't that tricky. That's pretty good. We can take pieces of his stuff more because this title is already created. It can't be created again for our child. And they are not going to take it from someone who already holds the title. So if we take another land from him, that's fine. We just can't take his last land. All right? So that's why I'm constantly considering what to take and why my um, my Duchy of Leinster looks like this. It's not pretty, but it works. I'm telling you that. So I think we'll take this war. We can afford it both in terms of manpower. And in terms of other resources we might need. Now his ally is joining. And I could try and run straight through to him. But um, if we do... It's another thing of warfare. If we just run r straight through, our troops are going to die a little bit. Oh no, the scheme was exposed. Shame. Well, we'll keep going with it a little bit. If we just ran through, the fact that there is no direct link between our lands and the lands we're going to means that our troops would be killed by basically the carrots. They would be harassed by the garrisoned troops in between my lands and their lands. Now we're seeing our friend here in Connacht coming to raid some counties. They might come raid us. But it looks like they're raiding our neighbor first. But I'm sure they will come raid us. So we will have to make some choices here. Right now we're sieging the ally of our enemy. It's not super ideal. And these guys are somewhere. I don't know where they are. They're not fighting us and anyway. I think they're in a second war. Yeah, now they're coming back. So they're probably going to join up with their ally and then they'll try maybe attack us? No. But they are unlikely to have a good chance against us. We have a pretty, 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 pretty decent commander for such an early age. But this here worries me, of course. Maybe he goes to Ennis first, which is nice. Leave us alone, ideally, if you can. We should probably build some palisades here, just so we get a bigger garrison. It's quite expensive to build, but... Um, doesn't help us with the horses either. The markets are very attractive, I must say. I will see. Okay, so we took this. That doesn't help us much for the war goal. Actually, it doesn't give us anything. Let's go ransom this lady here right away. 25 gold, we'll take it. And our army is... Um, it's not good against what we're facing. 
Like he's countering us heavily here. Okay, this might be a problem there. These raiders, okay, if, if they had crossed over to attack and become an enemy to us, that could have been a problem. These raiders are being beaten right now. So the enemy is likely to just keep attacking us because it, they really don't have much of a choice there. Okay, who won? The raiders or the raided? The raiders got destroyed. So they will keep coming and we will keep beating them back. But I think someone just died. Our spy master. So we can just put someone in here and we'll go with... With quality. The man who is best suited for the job. And I'm leaving him on this because we definitely need the prestige income. Fighting war as a tribal is a heavy prestige matter. Very costly in terms of prestige. And they'll come again. And come again. And come again until this army is entirely destroyed. Which might be in this battle. If they die in the early phase, then they're done. Like, they get wept off the map. I have some low control warnings, obviously. Between here and there. So now we just need to finish this siege and we're done with this war. We already gotten enough war score out of the battles that we can get. There's not going to be more of that. So winning this war now means winning sieges. Ideally, you want the sieges of the dotted borderlines. The reason we can declare conquest wars all the time, you might not be able to, is because we are a tribal ruler. We're not feudal yet. Feudal lords, they have some other requirements there. They can't just be like, hey, I want your land. And I'm on it now. And I'm going to take it. They can't do that. The lords, they live by some other rules. Now, of course, we're making us a little bit more, let's say, vulnerable to outsider attacks. Because we are opening up new borders, basically. So far, we're bordering no one, except for the Irish. Now, we're bordering the Scots. Oh, well. What counts for Scots up there? Now, we got Dun Padraig. And we'll give that to our son as well. Because, first of all, he's going to inherit it anyway. And it's going to have low control again. And we're above our domain holding limit, so we immediately give it to our son. With our son... I think we should be able to negotiate an alliance. Yes. So we'll do that. He'll immediately give us that alliance. We're going to be a little bit stressed. Let's see. Um, maybe we can have a feast or a hunt. A hunt for some prestige and some stress relief. So we go down to here. It's kind of perilous, though. Let's get some forest guides to reduce some of the risks here. Let's get a lad on boarded to see us safely, a caravan master. Can we get something else? Mm, no, maybe a forder. But here you can see low control is dangerous. It's just dangerous. So that's very expensive. Let's go and decrease the success chance. I don't care about the success chance. I would like to get some prestige out of it. But mainly we go for recreation. So we'll start the hunt immediately. The way this looks right now might be different for you. Because this could be a thing of the tools and tournament thing. Okay, we have the alliance. We're overwhelmed with stress now, as we knew would happen. Alright, this is an event from our travels. And he challenges us to a fight. We have no... No hope of defeating himself, but... Our Chiron Master and Champion, he will defeat him. And then we get another decent-ish knight. Alright, so what do we have here? This is fine. Da, 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 da. We should let him rest and recover fully. Yeah, we let him rest and recover fully. There's no point in 
rushing this. We're, we're, we'll be fine. We'll get there. Let's see. Can we get him a marriage? Nah. Nothing good yet. But we got a new perk. So let's see where we go with our perks. Organize the master rules. Now this is important, honestly. Levy reinforcement plus 100%. That means up here, you can see we have 982 out of 1,705. Uh, that's the amount we should have eventually. And our levies make up a good number of this. We get a plus 100% now. So we're at 35 per month, which is, which is pretty decent. As we wait for the rival. Yeah. So people are coming to the hunt now. Let's see. Prestige, mediocre. Nah. I think we'll go with middling. Success chance goes down. Prestige trivial. Ah. No, let's go get out of there. Let's get a row. Maybe we get some success. I don't think so. I mean, we have 92, 29%. That's nothing. Um, I can trust Fortnite as your mother. He becomes our friend. Doesn't really matter much. Okay, who becomes our master of the hunt? This guy, and it gives us some prestige. Prestige is important for us right now. Oh, we... Yeah, he's the best candidate, so he becomes master of the hunt. Fine. Increases our odds a little bit as well. They will hang, and the villagers will pay. Popular opinion goes down. Plus 10% holding taxes, that's not important. Not not at the income level we are at. So it might be more interesting to go with this. The animals mine along with the fines for their lives. So maybe it goes well, maybe it doesn't. Get out of my woodland. Uh, so Chieftain Magnus, our son, will lose a little bit of opinion. Ah, we'll just send them away, I don't care. I don't want to risk anything. I'm very risk averse at this. Put it back. Hunting raptor. We gain a hunting raptor. We don't need a hunting raptor. Ah, plus one prestige per month. But we would need to wait 150 months to get 150 prestige with plus one prestige. So if we just put it back, our chance increases and we get 150 prestige up front. So. I think we'll just take that. Let's see. After it we ride. Success chance increases. It's more perilous, so something bad might happen. We gain some stress because we are patient. An accident's more likely to occur. Let's go. Um Okay. My agent has been discovered. So we can abandon this basically. With 5% success chance, don't even try. Doesn't matter. Humble, honest, direct vassal opinion. Now, this direct vassal opinion is more important when you have actually a lot of vassals right now. Our only direct vassal are temple holders, city holders, and our son. So, yeah, we're not, I don't think we're going to need it. Let's see. The nearest market should have a row. <laughs> the hunt will succeed in a sense. Nah, I'm not spending 150 prestige to get a successful hunt. No, no, no. Let's see, I will shoot it. So let's check this. A random participant dies, a random participant is injured, every participant gets some prestige. There's a good chance I die here. Um, unleash the hounds. I will shoot it. I'm shy. There's a chance we die. Spears ready for, but I think we go with this. Random participant dies could still be us. Let's see. Okay. Slow is rounded, spears bristling, but I take a kick before we put the barking beast out of its mystery. So. I'm wounded now. It didn't say there, but but we are wounded now. 
All right, and we can uh, take the the row antler as a memento. It's not great, but it's the very first thing we get. So, gives us some hunter experience, gives us a lot of prestige, and we succeeded. So all all swell that ends well. We didn't lose any stress though. So now we have the row antler here in our inventory, and that will just give us some some stuff over time. That's pretty good. But it didn't help us in reducing stress, which was actually what I went for. Let's see. A feast, maybe, then. Once we're back. Um, I don't need vassal opinion, so we can decrease some cost here. We don't need guards. We don't need a caravan master. Well, can't really help that. Will we spend all our money on this? No, I don't think so. I would like to lose the stress, but... Let's see. Sure, we lose a little bit of prestige. Go a different round. I get rather build something. Palisades, probably. I mean, the extra fort is... That's not nothing. It's pretty important. I think we build it. Right, so we are a little bit low on cash now. Uh, we don't need to lower con uh, increase control there anymore. We can do that over here now. Because this is okay-ish now. It's not great. So what we can do is we raise local raiders. And now we see all the options around us where we could go raid. Now the problem is... <laughs> all of these are giving zero. We could raid our own stuff. For nothing. Why is everything giving zero? Raid loot. Why are all these zero? It's a little bit confounding. Okay, there's six loot. There's nine. Oh, there's 16. Okay, there's some places. This here has been recently looted, so we can't loot that. But we could cross over the water here, over this strait. And try and loot a little bit from this guy. And he doesn't have the troops to push us back. So if we go and take this, 16, these, 4, and there's another thing there, isn't there? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 4. So he can't fight our, our raiders. Let's get the Forda in here. How we go get us some gold? We go raid a little bit. Our wife is pregnant again, meaning a new heir is potentially on the way. Now, something you can do is stuff your current heir with a lot of uh, with a lot of things that he's bound to inherit. Because once there's a second heir that is bound to inherit stuff, your primary heir isn't allowed to get it anymore. And since you know, but you're weak in yourself, so I don't. I wouldn't recommend it. You can do it. Wouldn't recommend it, though. So there's 16 gold to be had here. And there's 4 gold here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. 7. He has... Oh. Alba is... Pretty strong. Can we raid these guys? Now they have nothing. Oh, that's 15 gold. We might take that. But first we take what we can get here. Alright, so the... The English are fighting the heathens again. We'll check that war in a moment. See what's going on there. 
We may go raid that church here. He doesn't have enough soldiers to defend himself against us. We need to be a little bit careful, right? So we have a 21 gold right now. Ah, okay, too late. We already ran through the place where we lose some troops. You can see here, we lose 100 troops just by getting there. Because these, these holdings around us, they harass us, basically. That's a danger we have to take. Or try and avoid, basically. So the English are taking a Diflin. Okay, we are scarred, but no longer wounded. Scarred is pretty good. Let's go take... Mern, and then we return home. So the English are not gonna win this. And here's another sun. Then, now I can show you how... Succession actually kind of works. Little Dungal. So. Here it tells us we lose three titles on succession. This one, this one, and... And this one. Because he already has two. And he gets this one. So it's three for each. If we have more children, it's going to be balanced a little bit more. And our brothers will be a bit of a threat to us. It's also not something to underestimate. Let's look at what this army is composed of at the moment. Who's Carl's... Which is heavy infantry. Oh, okay, that's new. Pikemen. Alright. So heavy infantry. Counter spear and archer. Huh. Yeah, they're very strong early on. So the Jarldom of Jorvik is constantly pushing here. These will fall apart eventually. Due to succession. So they're not going to stay that big forever. Nor that strong. Okay, so these guys are coming back home. This is his army. So we're going to leave right away. We might get out of here. Okay, no, we're not getting out of here. But there's another army coming. I think. So we might lose everything that we just raided. Yep. Ah, shame. Okay, well, fine. Happens. So we're not getting anything. We lost everything. They defeated the army. They got all the money. <laughs> See, it's a big of a... It, it's a big gamble. You need to be careful. You need to make some choices there. You make, uh, Smart choices. Let's say smart choices. You always make choices, eh? But you need to make smart choices. Not like I did. I got greedy. I got punished. Uh, we get a pet cat. Lovely. Thank you. Always take the pets. If you can get a pet, always take it. And it'll be called Snow. We'll just go with it. I don't worry about it. You can name it anything you want, but... I ain't worrying about that. So now we need to stand our troops down. Right quick. Because otherwise... They are not going to regenerate. And we are going to stay weak for a while. And these guys, they're looking for blood. They're not happy with what we did. I don't know exactly how that is, how they are that strong. But... Alright, very good. Someone is improving their relationship with us. Doesn't really matter to us. Clear war. Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't be nice, wouldn't it? Can't murder him. Because we already kind of failed on that. The Earldom of Brefin gets some game sighting for three years. So we could go on another hunt if we just could afford it, which, as you well know, we really cannot. <laughs> so how could we have changed that? We could have potentially just returned here, dropped off our gold, and then continued. That would have been the better better choice really okay could recruit this guy to a court how much do you cost me 13 gold we'll take him we need everyone we can get at the moment our nephew and champion yeah 
anyone here capable of having a woman? So I'm just giving all these guys women now. As best I can. Because there is a good chance they're going to create some children here. And we're taking them out of the realm of our boy, basically. And all these guys, all the children, will then become people of our court. Which we can then use for... Knights and stuff. So we could have another mm, rediment of arms. What count as armored foot? What count as heavy infantry? Light footmen. I think we need some light footmen. We don't have any yet. They're they're fairly cheap to have, so. We'll get some of these, spend a bit of prestige on these as well, get a bigger grouping. And we can put them there, make them a little bit stronger. So these guys on their own are already pretty strong, but they're allied to a bunch of people around here as well. So fighting them is going to be a bit of an issue. Now, these guys are at war with these guys. And I don't think these guys are gonna win this one. Like, we could try and offer to join. Like, hey, we're gonna come and help ya. But, we're not their allies, so... We can't come help them. I think we're going to go and take a little bit out of his land. Our troops alone can do it. So which one do we take? Mm. So, he has his main holding here. Meaning this is probably the best built one. But what we can do... Before we do that, you can see they have loot now. So what we can do before we do that is we raise all our raiders again. And then we just go and raid him. <laughs> before we attack him, basically. Our high chief didn't... Chief this is pregnant again. Fine by me. Nothing else to raid. So this will weaken him slightly. Not much, but slightly. And we earn gold that we, we're not going to get unless we looted before, so... We can do this. Uh, let's see. We already have the seclusion thing, so we're going to take that to reduce some of the stress. This happens when you're too high in stress. And after a few years, if you haven't reduced stress by then, it's going to pop up this event again. Or event similar, and you get a choice. Add another bad trait, like drunkard, which is horrible. Never take drunkard. Never take any of these. If you already have one, take that one. We're going to lose a bunch of prestige on this, so that's a problem. But at least we're not getting another bad trait. So, um, I mean, if we get that three gold there, that's more gold for us. So this is a this is a trait uh, event about the traits of our child. Uh, we could be okay. Let him stay patient. He's going for learning a lot, and uh, uh, we want him to have something that's more in the terms of military, maybe. But everything else stresses us, so I'm not gonna go with the stressed option. We'll let him be patient. Patient actually. I mean, it doesn't say here, but well. It used to be, it used to be good uh, in, in battle as well. He's a cowardly thinker. Okay, maybe we can switch his education focus. No, we cannot. Great, so he's supposed to become a soldier, but he is a cowardly thinker instead. So he's, sadly, he's not raising his arm. He's trying to fend us off. 
obviously he can't defeat us. He has uh, about half of what we have in terms of pure troop size. So it would be foolish for him to try. But it could help us. Okay, boy. So sometimes people complain about your pants. I found this little monster among my things. That was a scratch to beat. It was covered in fluids. Uh, it's just a cat. Our son loves us. He'll he'll understand. See, insulted. Minus twenty. It's nothing. All right, let's go back home. This time we drop off the loot. We could of course try and raid further away, but. Like going down here on the coastline. But these get raided fairly re regularly. So being the one that gets in here to, to raid something. It's kind of unlikely. There's too many Vikings around basically. Oh look we have a cat pet and now we get a dog pet as well. And he will be called Holdfast. What a great name. So now we brought home the money, and it gives us an equal amount of prestige, so that's nice. We immediately stand these down, and now we declare war, and... Oh, actually, we have a claim on this. We don't even have to go... But if we conquer... Okay, pushing our claim costs us 50 prestige. Mm -mm. If we go for conquer, it costs us just a bunch of uh, piety. That's... uh. I'm I'm fine with the piety laws, trust me. So now we raise everyone here. Do not raise raiders for regular wars. Raiders cannot fight in regular wars. Is this open terrain? I mean, it's wetlands. Does that count as wetlands? No. And they're not hostile faith. So we leave this leader in. Let's see. Accusations of witchcraft. No. Well, killer. I just don't want to test take anything that gives us stress, so that's my whole consideration. Okay, we got a daughter. That's lovely. Let's go give her an education and we'll give her intrigue. That's a job women can have. And let's find ourselves something interesting. A city. A city, a city, a city. Okay, we'll check that later. We'll, we'll keep her on the backhand. Now, our daughter will not split our realm further. Uh, children, at this stage, women cannot inherit. Not here, anyway. You can see your gender law here. So, male preference. Meaning, unless there are no males at all, women cannot inherit. If it's equal, and it just go, kind of goes down. Different directions. It's kind of clear. Very cool. So, we captured our enemy... <laughs> In the battle, uh, so we immediately won the war, and he got kind of destroyed there. And we're above our limit again, so we can check the succession and um, give our boy another holding. Now we can only give him holdings that he's entitled to anyway, so if I click any of these it doesn't work. But he's entitled to this one anyway, so I can give him this one. I will just keep doing that. That's fine. Can't disband our army right now. Because this enemy army, although it is defeated right now. And we're no longer at war. Because we raided them before, they are still hostile to us. So I need to get some distance between me and them. So we can go ahead and stand down our armies. Without losing men. We could also convert them to raiders. See what's out there, you know. There's seven gold to be had here. Okay, we need to be in our own county, in our own lands to start raiding. Oh, something broke apart. Did it? No. Okay, they just won their war. That's all. So can't raid here. Interesting. Why not? Wait, am I a fool? Oh god, I'm an absolute fool. This shows where it has been raided, not where you can raid. Ugh. 
Lord Almighty. Okay, so we we go raid here. <laughs> oh, forgive me. This was in Crusader Kings 2, I think. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it was different there as well. I haven't played that in many, many years. But I felt like, okay, this is where you can raid. Nope. You can raid anywhere where there isn't the torch and where there's something to be had. So we could even swim over here, ship over there, take this stuff. But we're going to take something from the Vikings. Good chance they raise their armies and attack us. But also, they just broke apart a little bit. So, Northumbria is now a thing. Do they hold more, Northumbria? Yeah. Because the leader here died. So, that is succession. So, Northumbria broke out of this. He's probably his brother. Um, yeah, you can see here. These are his brothers. So, he got Northumbria out of that. Because he held too much. And there was another duchy in there. So it got created. So he's a little bit weakened as well now. Because um, one of his allies got weakened. We'll see, we'll see. Now we're not going to be greedy, but... I mean, 20 gold and 20 gold is 20 gold, yeah? Let's see. Swaying. We're swaying this guy who's our bishop. Uh, doesn't matter. He already likes us enough. I, I probably don't even need to sway him anymore. So going over there might put our troops on ships. Which might cost basically all that we can raid there. So if we go over to raid, we need to raid proper, proper plenty. Uh, we just brought this back. See, if we go there, we just walk, <laughs> basically. Uh, we can't cross the sea yet. We haven't researched that. So who's our head of... Uh... Oh, we are. Maritime Mercantilism. Coastal holdings provide an extra additional 10% tax. Trade port line of buildings can be constructed one era early. Alright, okay, let's see. What are we fascinated with? Crop rotation. Unlocks tribal area economic buildings. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Gavel kind. Yeah, we got that. Oh, this is what we're being influenced on. This is what we get. This is what we are... Uh, let's see. March feudal contract. Mm, city planning. Casa Spelli. Edger. Uh. Hmm. So the thing is... Can we... Hmm. <laughs> like, when can we start crossing the sea? <laughs> I think we need this. I don't, I don't think we can get anywhere unless we have that. Interesting. Okay, so will we go around, all the way around? Maybe. So who are you losing against right now? You're losing against... Monk's claim on the Jarlum of Lothian. And you're losing big as well. That's not just a minor loss you're incurring there. So we could go raid him a little bit. If we're brave, but... He has 1,244 troops. So we could raid this. 24 gold. 10 gold. Make back what we lost before. But of course we need, we need to be... Yeah. Okay, that's just 258. That's not a lot. We need to be a little bit careful of his enemy as well. Oh. We're turning right around. Because there are raiders coming to us. And I'm not having that. I mean, they might be raiding there. He is my ally after all. <sighs> okay, so this guy gets uh, an unpressed claim on one of our chiefdoms. Doesn't matter much. She's dead soon anyway. Okay, he's raiding Ennis. You know what? We're going to let him raid that. And then we're going to kill him. And we just go raid 
Armand. I mean, there's a lot of gold right there. And maybe they kill them there. Would be good enough for us. Why not raid closer to home? Well, we still can. Right? Okay, but he's defeating him. Oh, we let our ally have the gold. Big questions. I mean, if he if he comes to us, then he's 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 dead meat. That is an actual fight there. I want the twenty four gold. I'll go there. Unless these guys are getting in our way. Um, okay, so, like cats and dogs, I have no time to react, they add each other's throat in seconds, tufts of grey fur fly and I can hear both of them growling, again, this constant fighting, stop this at once, hold fast, snow, that's enough, I think we try and control the dog, it feels like something that's more reasonably achievable. Oh no. I think our, co our our cat killed our dog. That's Oh. Oh. That's horrible. Ah well. Oh, we had a point open all the time. Cutting cornerstones. Yeah, we keep pushing in this tree. Mainly because the other tree does not make any sense to us whatsoever. Don't you dare go... Oh, man. I, I'm too late. But if we get on top of them... Uh, might be fighting on this. She's just a cat. She can stay. Okay, we need to do something about our stress levels. So let's have a feast. At home. And... We'll leave it at that. Don't need that. Let's bring everyone in. <sighs> 24 gold. Losing to such a small army. That's painful. I don't know if we get there in time. We might. I don't actually, actually know quite exactly what's going to happen. Okay, now we just kind of step on top of them and... Fine, then we go get smaller fries. Oh no, they're right there, so we're not gonna take that. Don't make them an enemy of us. Especially since they have more armies running around here. Oh, there's a lot of army movements happening here. So where should we go next? Not into the lands of Alba. I think we'll just go get that, maybe? And these guys are much more daring than me. I don't dare send my troops there. Okay, we are getting some raiders coming in. Not a big fan of that. But maybe they don't come for us, they come for someone else. Christian faith now has access to crusades, if they say so, sure. So crusades are, well, it says, big wars for land. Against foreign, different faiths, says this. Welcome, friends. 
Let's start our feast here. So we're gonna get a bunch of events now for our feast. And we can go fight the thirst. Costing us 50 gold. That's fine. We stole that gold anyway. And people are having a higher opinion of us for it. And here we can go lose a bunch of stress and we're gonna do that. We're just gonna pick the high stress loss option. And that really takes care of it. And delightful. Life is reaffirmed for five years. So we get a medium health boost and our stress gain goes down by 50%. Meaning, every time we encounter an event that gives us stress, we lose less. It's less bad. Okay, let's let's help her. Stop her from choking. We get a weak little hook on her. Which we can use to uh, demand our conversion. And we'll do that. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so ending this event would usually give us some stress relief as well. But since we are shy, we're not getting that. So now, we're just going to go back home. We have some gold. I'm not risking what we have. On foolish notions of potentially getting more again. So just going back home. Simple as that. And these guys are going back. They did not raid us. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> I mean, these wars are a little bit too difficult and too unpredictable for me to just go in there and, and loot some bunch. Professional workforce. Holding construction time, building construction time, all goes down. It's all pretty great, but we're not really looking to do that. So let's disband our army. Let's earn some prestige again. So there's a lot going on here. They are losing against these guys, losing against these guys, winning against these guys. But in one of these wars, Alba is involved. Yeah. So they're getting smacked around, which... I appreciate. Because if they're getting smacked around, that means they go weaker. Means we can go and get that thing. Okay. So Magnus can either be shy or gluttonous. I think we'll just leave him at shy because we're shy ourselves. It's not a great trait to have, but gluttonous is worse because it could lead to obesity, which leads to a reduction in health. So avoid that, both in real life as well as in Crusader Kings 3. So, um, ah, uh, doesn't matter. She's angry about that courtier of ours. Come on, stop overreacting. We need her. We need to have courtiers generated for us. Now let's look at this thing here. So this is part of the high chiefdom of Meath, which already exists. So we can go take that without any problems once he's weak enough for that. She isn't quite right now because he still has allies. Well, actually. Could go for a subjugation war. <laughs> uh, that won't work. That won't work. I mean, it would, but it wouldn't help as much. So we could fight him over this right now. He has two allies, but they're super weak. So if we go for this now... And we want... Huh? What? Who's the liege of this guy now? Oh. Okay, our ally got it. I mean... Not exactly the outcome I wanted, but okay. Alright. So what if we take this? Hmm. Also just attack there, you know? Be like, hey, I want your whole duchy, please. Thanks. Could do that in places like this. 
can't afford that, but we could set over. Get a tiny little spot here. Well, so Ireland is now in the hand of the Irish. There is no king yet, but we'll be working toward that. Let's see. What do we need to found the Kingdom of Ireland? So we need eight de jure counties, of which we have seven, so we need one more. We need 175 gold and two duchy titles. So, we don't have the gold. We could get a duchy title pretty easily. We could just take any of these guys here. Create a duchy title. And then we could become King of Ireland. But we're a little bit old. So I'm not so sure about that. I would like to raid some more to get more money. But, well. <laughs> it's a little bit of a problem, isn't it? Hmm. And we got a little courtier of our dynasty. A little strong and wise little thing. So. Where can we go? Where's something good to be had? It's 19 gold. And he doesn't have the men to stop us. We would lose some here. But that's okay. And then we could raid. Give me my cat. My cat is my cat. Can't attack Alba. Don't have the troops. Could attack him. Definitely can attack him right now. Or rather, raid him. 19 gold isn't a lot, by a long shot. And there's someone standing there. I don't know what happens if we reach it. Will we replace them? No. They are there first. So they are getting that stuff there. Could try and raid across here. You can see Hadrian's wall here. But that's a bit of a gamble. A bit of a danger, because... Okay, a call to war. You want to fight whom? Okay. So we just entered some war. Alongside a bunch of people. Okay, will we get out of this in time? This is very, very slow. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, and we leave immediately. <laughs> All right, Dungal's first teething. Lovely. We become the owner of his milk tooth. We'll take it. The child will like us better for it, and it gives us a tiny little bit of prestige income. Oh, wait, no, he, he got it. Not we. Fine. No worries. So, okay, there's the Northman conquest for the chiefdom of Meath, which we joined in defending against. So we'll need to stand our raiders down. Or rather, we need to stop them from being raiders. Once they're back home, and then we can go join the armies here, the combined. So these invasion type things, they happen sometimes. Okay, disbanding our army right now. Is a bit of a problem for us because it takes three months for them to reconstitute themselves. Which is because enemies are close, we're in a, in a war, so standing down like that isn't really good. So Northmen are coming to fight and take this whole thing. Our troops won't be ready to help in time. So we're probably losing this one. So let's see at the army comp composition there. That is all levies. And that is some Huskars and some... Light infantry, so... I mean, potentially we have a chance if we get all our troops in here with the others. 
And of course, the enemy is walking right on top of us. And they'll destroy us. So what we could do is we stop gathering and we run away. But we're not going to get away. So um, yeah, our army is completely destroyed now. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Doesn't matter too much. It, we're not losing anything really. It's it's our friends that are losing something. And that means we have a new neighbor that we can then attack fairly relentlessly. So we just lo lost a bunch of troops here. And yeah. Oh, actually, the Scots are winning. Still. I'm impressed. Look at that. They are slaughtering them. Ulster spared. Despite successfully besieging the settlement of Dunpark, protection great sir, has restrained his troops, resulting in losing has been isolated and sporadic. Okay, so they're looting around here. It's probably an event he had where he could choose to do that. It's crazy that he's winning. The odds were absolutely against him, just in sheer numbers. But here you can see the quality of an army outweighing the quantity of an army in Crusader Kings 3. So they won. Our war contribution was 100%, so we're going to get a little bit out of it. Even though our troops, all that they did was just get, get wrecked. <laughs> okay, let's check on Ireland again. Creating that. How much gold was it? Click. Click. 175 gold. Alright, so we had 100% contribution, so we get 150 uh, prestige, and his opinion of us is plus 100, because we were there, we fought with him. <laughs> Very bravely. <laughs> Make no mistake. We absolutely helped. Without us, this would have gone completely sideways. Alright. Let's go raiding some more. Maybe we can... Maybe we become King of Ireland. Maybe. We'll see. These guys are still safe. Now, since our troops were kind of slaughtered a little bit, they have to try and find their way back home. And of course, if I were to unpause the game, it would be a little bit quicker. So there's 16 gold to be had here. I think we'll take it. There's actually 32 gold to be had between these two. If these are not already being sieged by something, which might be the case because they are rebelling against their masters, so we go past them and go into their own lands. That way they become angry at us, hostile, so we can fight them, fight them off, and then take the 16 gold. That's how it goes. Super simple. I don't know why everyone is so confused about this game. Um, Alright. I know my son, Dungal, is looking at me intrigued. What? Okay, so I've been swearing around my son. Apparently. Dungal, come here. Okay, now he doesn't want to be, so he's reclusive already. I mean, we are reclusive. We're, we're, yeah, we're teaching our kids to be exactly like us, basically. So now... We are raiding them, meaning they are not hostile to us. So we can go kill this army and take the gold that they are currently holding hostage by sieging there. And they can't even finish the siege because they have too few people. If it's like this stripe thing, too few people in the, in the army. It's not a matter of the enemy having too good defenses. This is just literally you have too few people to try this. So now we would get a nice little chunk here. The enemy will try and fight us again? No. But we definitely want to leave again. We will fight these guys on our way out. Can't be helped. I would like to avoid bloodshed, but... I mean, there's ten more gold to be had. No. Stop the greed. We're bringing 33 gold home. That's great. Our cat has kept our castle rent free. See, I'm clicking these away very quickly often. If I see just a green thing in one response, I just take it, especially since I know most of these events by heart now. So, 
Doesn't really matter to me. Let's disband our army. We got the money. Okay. So next thing's next. This thing here, we'll take it. <laughs> Wait, do you have gold again? No. Okay, so we're just going to attack them. We want to conquer this. They do have allies, I think, but that'll be fine. So we raise our army here. Raise all there. Walk right atop them. Probably defeat them. Then we take it. Then we have the opportunity to create a new duchy title. Then we have the money. We have the titles. And we can create the Kingdom of Ireland. And that is how you become a Crusader King. Well, not a Crusader King, but that is how you become a King in Crusader Kings 3. Um, now we need the money right now. Let's move on, sorry. So I just read through what does each option give me. They lost us money. Not really great. Oh, no, we have twins. A son and a daughter. Let's give them good Christian names. Sebastian and Rachel. Yes. Amazing names. Good Christian names. That's what we want out of this. Let's see. So our succession is going to get more messy and messy. So between our children, this is going to be spread around. Magnus is... Yeah, let's go. Martial education focus. Let's further this. He's super learned. But he has a martial education focus, which we cannot change again. Uh, another call to war. They want to take the earldom of Oriel. I don't, I don't really care. We'll just come. That's fine. Oh, we're, we're helping the, the smaller one against the bigger one. Oh, that might not be good. Oh, he's defending. I mean, we could win this, but we're we're a little bit engaged right now. We need to finish our own war first. Okay, our son has joined in this war as well on our side. But we have to finish this here first. Okay, there are two armies fighting. It doesn't really matter who wins. It's good that they're fighting because that kind of weakens them. Oh, God, no. Okay. Alba is joining, so that's not going to work out. Okay, we have Pneumonia. Let's see. Now I struggle. Uh, it is Pneumonia, my lord. Not to be taken lightly. How shall we proceed? Too late to caution. Let's, let's go. Let's have something. I will see another day. I will live to see another day. So, she greatly reduced our disease symptoms. It is always a gamble. Sometimes it goes well, sometimes it doesn't. This time it went well for us, so that's great. I live to see another day. Let's go for that. So, yeah. With the Alban armies, eh, there's not much we can do. Okay. So let's finish this. Enforce our demands. Okay. Real quick. Oh god, we're, we're way over our domain limit, I just realized. Okay, let's 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 um let's do deal with all this. So we need to create the Duchy of Munster. Oh no, which costs us 87 gold. Ay ay ay. I ah shoot. Now we can't create this yet. We don't have the two duchy titles. So this might have been a problem. Might, big might. Might not have. So we can try and fight them here. To do something about this war. But with Alba in the mix, that's that's too many troops. I mean, he's very bravely running right into his death. I congratulate him, but... Completely pointless. So best we can do is siege this. Siege his lands. So why are we so bad? 
Development growth in realm capital plus 0 0.3. Why are we so low? What's this? Our stewardship is zero. Oh, because we have Pinonomia right now. That's the problem. That takes us hard down. Okay. Okay, good. We're, we're safe again. We're healthy again. So we're only one above our limit. Let's see. Okay, so look at this. Right now you can see he's going to get this duchy title. He's going to get it. Upon succession, when I die, this duchy will be created for free. And he will get it. So our son will have to fight his brother over this. And what we could try is declare a war here after our truce is done. And maybe we can push for the, for the whole duchy. Something we could do. Now, he might get the whole duchy, but we're going to get a piece out of it because we gave that to our main uh, to our main heir before. So, that kind of helps. So, I can't give... Can I give him? Can I give him? Louis Minach. This title here. Can I give you this? I can. So this weakens basically him, our other heir. Because he might get the duchy, but he's not going to hold everything in the duchy. So I'm... Oh, we got our first dynasty legacy. Very good. So these are fun. Uh, it's basically a skill tree for your whole dynasty. This keeps going with you all the time. And um, whatever you pick is probably going to be good. <laughs> a lot of people like to go for uh, blood. So you get good inheritable traits quicker and more often. That's If you really want to go for something that is good, giving you a lasting impact that really, really helps under any circumstances, go that way. But honestly, I think all of these kind of work. All of these kind of work. Um, I think... What do we do? Do we go for customs? Hmm. I think we go for customs. So, learn language scheme power doesn't really help. Minority vassal opinion eh, doesn't really matter. Can learn an additional language doesn't really matter. Cultural acceptance when completing language. Eh, none of this really matters much. But here it gets interesting. Cultural functionation progress plus 10%. Quicker research. Uh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Everything else here, I don't know. Eh. Eh. Huh. <laughs> Do I take something different? It's a, it's a difficult choice every every single time. Let's see. Guest recruitment cost minus 30%. That's pretty big. That's pretty big because that way you get much cheaper knights. And development growth in this tree is also pretty good. Glory. Marriage acceptance plus 30. We now name. Hmm. Maybe ominous reputation. No, I think we go for Noble Veins. We go with what I'm recommending here. We go with that. I'm not trying to show off. But we're going to speed this uh, war up a little bit. It's, it's going to be decided in a moment anyway when they take that. We can't help. We can't fight this. 400 arches. Why do we have so many arches, my man? Yeah, nothing we can do about this. We tried. So be it. Wait a moment. Ah yeah, Meath took that. Let's disband our troops. Okay, we need money again. 
I mean, he's our ally, so that's not too bad. Let's see. Can we get... Can we get his duchy title if we just take him? We could usurp it. Might be cheaper. Okay, he has the Duke of Gascogne as his ally. Does he have money sitting around? Does he have money sitting around? Okay, we'll definitely go take the money. Definitely go take the money. His ally will not be able to join him against a raid. He can only join against a direct invasion, basically. A direct war. And then we can go back over and see what else we can pick up there. But here, that's 13 gold in our pocket. Okay. And there's another 10 gold. We'll walk through our own lands on the way there, so that's fine. Uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and create that duchy title already. It's going to get created anyway. It costs us some money, but it gives us some prestige. So, mm. created. And now all we need is gold. 30 gold. And then we can become king. You're very perceptive. Okay, we could go learn a language maybe. Not that it really matters much, but... Might as well let that run on the side here. 63% chance we learn his language. It does help with them liking you a little bit better, stuff like that. It's not useless, but... You could also sway someone at the same time or befriend someone at the same time, you know. It's, it's a little bit more useful in my mind. We have to move quicker. Uh, thank you, but I can manage on my own. Just avoiding stress at all cost. That's that's why I don't necessarily like taking learning language schemes. There's always some risk in these, and the risk might just be that you lose some some time, some stress, so some lifetime basically. What's here? A better guardian. Uh, Common of Flan is not a good guardian. Of course, Ed is a better choice. Flan loses some opinion of us. I don't, I don't care. Okay, there's 19 gold there. He doesn't have the men. And I think he is in battle. Yeah, he's at war with someone anyway. So we can go get that. Get that 19 gold. And these and that. So I think we're fine here. So we're 30 gold. Honestly, no. We're going straight back. Because that's all we need. We're going to have zero gold after. Okay, we did raid that still on the way back. Let's go. I'm always super stressed when we're very close to getting something. It's just... The nail-biting action behind this. We worked so hard for this, and, and do we die right before we get it, right? Let's go. The Kingdom of Ireland. There we go. Royal Court gained. Now, we got this here open up. This is only for a Royal Court. Uh, this might not be in your game again, because it might be only in the uh, Royal Court DLC. Now, we are King of Ireland, but we don't hold all of Ireland. Just so we're clear here. So let's see. The Irish court. As High King, you have new duties and responsibilities. You will now be expected to regularly hold court, solving disputes of the realm and letting your courtiers take a part in your daily routines. Khalid is looking sternly at me in a direct, almost lecturing way. Perhaps there's something, uh, also some surprise in his eyes. Our nephew and chancellor. He starts to unfold the beautiful banner bearing the emblem of House Dalbirn. One of the ways in which the world will know, will now judge your rule is by how you adorn and care for your royal court. Oh, very good. So we'll go and enter our royal court. And this is what it looks like. Looks quite a little bit different from what we had in our last campaign. Uh, but uh, we have some court artifacts to hang. So let's put our dynasty banner. Our own dynasty banner behind here. So that's our dynasty banner. And we have some more banners to hang. 
So we'll hang the the Korku Lloyd Dynasty. So these give us some bonuses, basically like artifacts, regular artifacts. And that's it. That's all we can place here right now. There's an inspiration we could sponsor. Uh, if we had the money, we would do not. <laughs> and we can hold court. Let's go and do that right now. It costs us a little bit of prestige. And again, chance for good and bad events all at the same time. So let's see. Uh, greetings, your majesty. During my recent trip to the Petty Kingdom of Mercia, I learned some fascinating tidbits about several of Petty King Burgard's subjects. Rumor monger out of my court. So we get 10 court grandeur. Up there we can see our court grandeur. It gives us some stuff. Um, like on this level we get army loot capacity plus 20% and raid speed plus 20%, which is quite important for us. But the higher we go, the more bonuses we basically get. And we do have to maintain a certain level of court grandeur depending on how large of a kingdom we have. Oh, munificent high Reichen, I am male Duridud and I have traveled far to ask your aid in writing a great justice. The man in front of me bows deeply before continuing with his well-reserved plea. My kinsman, High Chieftain Aid, currently sits on the throne of Meath, but I am the true and rightful ruler of those lands. If you aid me in pressing my claim, I shall swear fealty to you and serve you loyally. Now, the thing is, we want that, but he has a whole lot of people. He's our ally, and he has allies, so uh, I cannot help you, but please join my hospitality. Enjoy my hospitality. So... He comes to stay at the court, and we might press his claim at some later date. And until then, he can be a knight. <laughs> Let's see. My courtier, Murien, takes a turn bending my ear before the assembled court. Glorious Lage, I give me the honor of ensuring your issues are given an education befitting their rank. I will not let you down. I suppose these jobs have to be divided. Okay, so she wants to be our court tutor, which costs us a little bit of money, but might as well, so she can help teach the kids in the court. Very good. Very good indeed. So let's check our court grandeur real quick. Oh, I never actually created uh, the Kingdom of Ireland before, so we just got that achievement. Uh, very good, very good, very good indeed. So, our court grandeur looks like this. We are currently at 5 with the things that we have right now. We need to be at 5. Uh, you can see by the flag here, that's what's expected of us. And it's going to go down. So, we will have to invest. And this will cost us a lot of money. So, invest wisely. This here gives us extra prestige. We'll take it. Thank you. Um, this here, ugh, not so much important. Court grandeur, extra stress loss, we'll take it. I think we have to take all of these, but I don't quite know if we can afford it. It will cost us all we have, and we're not going to even be able to push enough court grandeur. So we're going to lose a bit um, out here. So instead of pushing this fully and losing all of money, uh, we just push barely above three. That's We go barely above three. Because that's all we really need there. So now we go apply. Can't change that for 12 months. Now we get some other things and it costs us money. But th th that is life of a king, right? That that's just how it is. Costs us some. So we're a tribal court. We can't change that. We could change our language. Oh, look at that. Our boy grew up to be a skilled tactician, actually. All right. And he did become gluttonous in the end. And shy. Oh, man. I... All right. Okay, fine. So now, now that we're king of Ireland, uh, we can go ahead and I think we'll take them down for the moment. Yep. So now we can take all these and just fold them into the country, basically. And we can... Um, oh, we don't have to. So we can conquer. And we'll just keep doing that. We'll just keep doing that. Let's complete Ireland as best we can. We could offer vassalage to him, and he's gonna take it even. So our ally in Meath will become our vassal. Why? Because he's our de jour vassal anyway. He belongs with this king. 
Accused of violating sumptuary law. Ah, oh, look. Our boy gave us some rough gemstones. It's nice. Since we have don't, we don't have a lot, this is something. So now our little ally here is also our little vassal. So we're almost, almost there to ruling over the entirety of Ireland. So that's pretty great. Now let's look at the succession here. We're still going to lose the titles, including this duchy title here. That's okay. Uh, but we're going to keep our main duchy and our main holding. So that's always what you want. You want to have the best main holding that you can have. Um, construct new duchy building. So I think... Yeah, I think we might have to move. Might have to move our headquarters here. I think we might have to do that. Why? Because this has a duchy... Um, like this has a... This is a duchy capital. This thing here is also a duchy capital at the moment, but we don't have that duchy slot right there. So if we look at um, the really good ones, also we can build a harbor there. So yeah, we're going to move our, our capital out here. Which, where's the button for that? Here. Oh, we can't change it while we're at war. Okay, fine. Our little cat brought us two gold. Thank you. It's not nothing at this point. So we, def we have defeated them. Inter Ireland, you come. So we've taken that land directly because that was a conquest. And now we move our capital over here. Which doesn't look too great, but... It's okay. That's where I want to be. Obviously, going for Dublin would be, you know, fine. But we have the exact same size here. So that doesn't really matter. But we need to move our county development speed over to here. This doesn't matter anymore. Where are we? Okay, we're not increasing control. We definitely should increase control. We have so many places where we need to increase control. Uh, let's go here. That's the worst one. The deepest red is the worst one. And we're pregnant again. My, my. So we have a higher limit now because we're no longer a duke. We're a king. So we can have five out of five. Um... Right, let's see. Prisoners can be ransomed. Oh, goody. There's a bunch of money here. We'll take it. Very good. Now we can sponsor something. This guy pays even more money to us. So that pushes us over immediately. We can negotiate an alliance at home with little Sebastian. But we're not gonna because it stresses us out. <laughs> To have an alliance with our own child. It's like, no, I don't want to talk to my children. That is exactly why I don't actually have children. Because I know that would be that would be me in real life. Alright, so the High Chieftain is our prisoner, so we can't declare war against him. But we can just ransom him out, so. Let's speed this down again. Let's see. Sometimes there are just random events standing in the court. So it's only a bird. Let him go. What is this? My leash. This monster did really hard misfucking during our last hunt. What? We imprison him? Find this miscreant. Okay. He's gonna be fine. He gives us money. <laughs> now let's sponsor this uh, inspiration here. She wants to forge us a regalia for 50 gold. Now, that's an artifact. That's pretty good. Uh, her skill isn't great, so it's not going to be the best thing in the world. But starting the forging of artifacts at this junction is usually pretty good. So why do I have everyone imprisoned here? For six gold, I let you go, huh? Why is he my prisoner? I don't quite know. 
But we are now a little bit stronger, all things considered. Uh, we should also probably work on our regiment here. Let's put them somewhere. Put them there. That's where they get the most. And let's see, we have we have a bunch more to get there. A balanced army is probably generally the best option. Oh, the Kingdom of England has been formed. That's cute. So... And they're fighting these guys. <laughs> As well they should. We could go and subjugate that fool. Increasing our reach a little bit. I mean, he has 140 troops right now. But he's also losing wars, so... He's very close to some of these. So, they are probably going to be gone in a moment. Could try and conquer a duchy out of England before they grow too big, but it's already too late. Ow. They have all kinds of allies. I don't think they matter, but... They do. Okay, did we conquer this duchy? Yeah. We definitely go conquer this duchy. It's cost 140. That's fine. But that way we get a nice little option to raid everywhere here. So let's get another little flag going. We don't have to have only one. So we'll get this flag here. Raise our whole army there. And yeah, we're going to take our whole army. Even though we don't need to technically because we're going to defeat them even without them. But might as well. Oh, more twins. Hans and Zachariah. May you grow strong. Indeed. Succession is looking ever more crazy. So this is our former home. Our main heir will get all this here. What are you defending against? Oh look, a Northman army conquest is coming, so that's good. If they take that, we just take it from the Northman army. Basically. They do have allies coming in. So they might still win against the Norsemen. Let's see, okay, who do we give the regalia to? Like, who's, who, who's, who are we gonna have this dedicated to? I mean, she has been good to us. Yeah, let's give it, let's have it made in her name. Let's see. Make them forget I cannot afford destruction. This is most fortunate. All right. So our learn language thing is getting forward and the cultural acceptance between Irish and Welsh increases by 1%. Which is, as you can tell, not a lot of percent. Do we have a siege lord master? Someone, maybe. Anyone who knows siegecraft? I mean, this guy is crazy good. How much do you cost us? 27 gold. We'll take it. He has all the traits. Look at this guy. Yeah, that's crazy. He's great. It's a once in a lifetime type leader. Maybe we can also get Lan Lanar Lanarkshire. Like everything that's still a free agent out here on the British Scottish Isles. Okay, we could invest more money in this artifact. Uh, to increase the thing, but we we don't have the money. We can't do that. We do have a point, though. Popular figurehead, popular opinion goes up. Popular opinion, what is that? That is basically everywhere in these counties, you have something called popular opinion. And that's what the people think of you. The peasantry, basically. So in the factions, the higher your popular opinion, the less likely there are going to be peasant uprisings against you. So it's definitely something, if you can't get it higher, you should get it higher. So can we raid Alba by now? Not really. They still can fight us 
pre back pretty pretty decently. Our sister Lun died, giving giving us some stress because of course we love her. We love her dearly. It's a big shame. Let's ransom this dude before he has zero money left. And once he loses, he's not going to have money to ransom anything. <laughs> uh, Alright, okay. So our son offers his the alliance directly so it doesn't give us any stress because we didn't ask. He did. Such a good boy. Okay. Instant win. We'll take it. We disband our army. Oh, wait. We become raiders. <laughs> and we get us some money here from Alba. I don't know where his troops are at the moment. So he might just raise them immediately. But maybe we can take a little bit of a border raid. I mean, this is quicker now as well. Wait, do we have a raider? Oh, yeah, we do. Our player Aaron's son. Raid speed plus 100%. Attrition... Minus 75. So that's crazy. Look at that go. And now we we run away. <laughs> Instantaneously we run away. Okay, they, they're following us. That's their right, of course. Uh, we'll, we'll just keep running away, I think. Oh, God. They really didn't like that. What do you hope to gain out of fighting me now, huh? Your gold is gone. Let me be, let me leave. Wait. We need the better guy. So now it's a balanced battle anyway. We're, we're still gonna lose it. Make no mistake, but... Well. It was worth a try. They, 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 they're very aggressive. They're very aggressive. Okay, we have way too many holdings. So let's check into our succession here. And give our youngest children a little bit. So, you get this. And... The other child that doesn't have anything yet gets this. So, I don't have to deal with it either. Yeah. <laughs> we got beaten into a pulp there. And now we run all the way back home. Well, almost. No, no, no. She knows what she's doing. She doesn't need any help. So the main problem with being defeated right now is that our army is kind of weak. And these guys are kind of sitting in our way of getting more money. And Alba has also kind of taken everything there. But they're standing down so we can probably go back. Especially since Galloway isn't really there. So who cares? Let's put in our raiding sun again. Ah, we learned the language. Very right? good. Let's see. Are there more languages around here to learn? This guy? Can I learn a language from you? No. Can't learn your language. There's another language to learn. So many languages to learn. Again, the main bonus, like if we look at this guy now, is the... I really don't know. <laughs> I don't exactly know what exactly we get out of that. I just... I think you have a better chance of certain events. Uh, we give the pet cat to Sebastian. No. I will not give Snow away. I'm sorry, wife. You have to deal with it. Oh, great. Okay. So the reality isn't all that terrible. Seduce scheme power plus eight. Thank you. I'll take it. For what it costs, it's, it's, it's perfectly... Fine. Let's get an antiquarian. They keep... The decay quite low. So let's make her our antiquarian. She'll be fine. Because you have to repair these artifacts from time to time. Otherwise they get destroyed. And yeah, that, that can be good. That need be good though. Wait, someone went to Galloway already? No. Why is there gold to be had? Or is that there? I think that's this one. Oh, yeah. So who are we raiding here anyway? Alba again. Oh god, no. Okay. Bye! <laughs> luckily, luckily, 
uh, the computer tends to raise his armies right next to his um, his home. So a friend here ruling the Duchy of Meath just died. Okay. Now let's stand down this army. So these guys just finished up. And we'll just go conquer the county. And we'll raise all here. I don't know if that's a great idea. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Okay, the person we're learning our language from died, so... I'll just go with anything, really. I don't really care. So, this is not a good idea. <laughs> Let me tell you. They are quite a lot stronger than us. I didn't allow time for our troops to really replenish. But we're catching half of them right now. So maybe we have a chance. But no, we don't. The enemy is running in here. Okay, we need a, we need an alliance. We need a friend. We have a lot of unmarried children. Let's go. Alliance power. King of Bavaria, West Francia. What are you? A daughter. Matrilineally. Alliance power. The Kingdom of Alba. Let's go. Okay, so very good. So now we can call in Alba to help us in this war. <laughs> um, you can... Potential alliance negotiation. Kirtan. Okay, now go away. I would like to call in allies. There. You help me. It costs us a lot of prestige to do that. A lot. But since we can't take that into our grave, might as well spend it. I don't even know if the West Franks can get here. Oh, they're already on the island. For some reason. Okay, both of these are kind of fine. So we'll just take the one that is finest. And we got beaten a little bit and we lost our Chancellor in this battle, I think. See, our son is good at this and he wants a job anyway. Might as well give him one. Oh, that's not our son, that's, that's this side chieftain here. So we're being beaten back a little bit. But our allies, the Scottish, are now coming. Helping us. Helping us fight that war. Fight that enemy. Come on, together we can defeat the heathens. I'm sure we can. Oh no, he's raising more army. More troops from him. Will we catch him? I don't think. Usually you can tell that there's a little army thing. Get a bird sighting around here. It's fine. So that is all bad right now. Well, maybe not all bad. We still have more troops than him? No, we don't. Okay, yeah, that's... Oh god, please, Scottish friend... Uh, 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 yeah, that's bad. That's so bad. Oh my god. Huh? Where are the Franks? Franks are attacking England. They're not coming to help. Let's see. We have more children. <laughs> we have more alliances to make. What are you? Are you a daughter? Yes. Let's see. Alliance power. Savoy. French, 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 French. Uh, okay, maybe not matrilineally. Let's just go. 
with alliance power. Minden. French, 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 French. Saxon. Where is this? Okay, that's not that's not really enough Saxon. I need something closer. I need something on the island. Norse. Ah, uh, that's way way Norse. <laughs> uh, okay, not good. Let's see. Let's get you a spouse, maybe. High Chieftain of Moray. That's inside of my realm, is it not? No, that's up there. So that's good. That's another 1,700 we can get in. So we'll do that. And do we have another child? We're getting completely destroyed here. It's crazy. Okay. So he's coming. We have a strong faction existing in our realm now, which is because we are so weak right now. That's really it. Like if our army were stronger, this wouldn't be a problem. We need to go ahead and uh, organize the army. No. Where do we increase levy? Hmm. This should be it. Levy reinforcement rate plus 11%. We do that. So our chancellor... We just reassign you. Do we have someone good at that? We reassign you. Oh god, we're shifting everyone around. And we assign you. Inside alliance doesn't really matter. Prisoners can be ransomed. Let's get a little bit of money here. Not that it matters. Can't really do anything with that. Okay, something we could do right now is stand on our troops, disband them. It takes three months for them to get back together, but if they are disbanded, they regenerate a little bit quicker, really. So let's check this on. So you want the Kingdom of Ireland, good stuff. And you want to put my nephew on the throne. What is your deal? Okay, so immediately as we jump here, that's fine. So we could accuse him of violating sumptuary law. Uh, we could get some prestige out of him. Or lose some prestige to him. So we have 4,000 in terms of allies. And we have 5,000 in terms of enemies. And our troops are slow regenerating, very slowly. Let's see. What is this comprised of? Heavy... And heavy and light, heavy and light, heavy and light. So, heavy infantry is countered here. Spearmen, archers. And we just need more of these. Let's see, there's more people to recruit to our court. More good knights. We'll take them. Knights are important in wars like that. If we force him to be a knight as well, maybe it dies. So we wait for this to regenerate a little bit more and then we raise our troops again. Who died? Oh good, our marshal. We have better marshals. Including... I mean, he's, he's the very best, obviously. But I think our son and player heir will be just fine. So that way he earns a little bit of money as well. As he's doing that job. Okay, 1,500. We wait for our allies to arrive here. So this is going to tick toward our enemy constantly. Until we take the dotted area. 
So now we have to raise our army so our ally doesn't run into the enemy completely pointlessly. Honestly, we might just attach ourselves to an allied army so we don't have to control them. And we got our lad here. So we're deciding to take this down first. I feel accomplished. I, I learn Anglic. I'll just keep learning languages. Doesn't really matter. Just occupy ourselves, you know. Can we learn Scottish? No? Why does no one here have a language to teach me? I find that hard to believe. I know Bithunic. What are you speaking? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> so we're getting in here. Getting that siege undone. Let's speed this up a bit. And we might be able to add some more troops after a while. Like this will keep going up. And it doesn't necessarily feed directly into the army unless it's our... Unless it's our men at arms that are already in the army. So these guys are starting to starve now, so that's good for us. They're losing troops there. Okay, let's unlock these and move with our allies. Now this looks bad because it doesn't factor in our allies coming with, I think. I should hope that with our allies that should be fine. It's 50-50. Defensive building, defending in wetlands. Their commander is better. Okay, we might just lose again. Let's see. We definitely have the numbers, but again, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Can still lose with the superior numbers. But the advantage is hugely on our side, so... I would be sad if we lost that. Like, higher advantage is barely possible. So we defeated them here now. And thus we can uh, siege this. And maybe we can win like that. Our allies are kind of spreading around. I hope they come back when we are being attacked. They are mainly spreading around to take on supplies, so... Fret not. Oh, great. Oh, great. The oh, great. The Scottish are... Oh, God. Why are you leaving? Why are you getting on ships? Are you kidding me? I mean, we're still winning it, but... Barely? Okay, Collar has killed our son. My brave son. He will not get away with it. We become rivals. Let's go. Oh god, the Scottish. I mean, they did arrive eventually, but what the hell was that? Why do you go on a ship? So now we lost our son. She's just a cat. Get over it. We have a new main heir. Um, which one actually died? It was him. So his children inherited some stuff there. All right. Okay. So this last... Let's get you on this so I can eventually get you in our court. Okay, we're winning yet another battle, which is good for us. But I'm afraid of our allies doing the same thing they just did. Oh, God. Okay. I can't put him in, our nephew and brother-in-law. But I'm not gonna, because he's angry. Alright, we got a bunch of good people here now. That can help us a little bit. Manage our realm. Something better. Let's hope our allies don't do weird stuff again. Please help defend. Hello? Allies? Okay, now they come. 
It's still a dangerous battle all the time. And another daughter. Good golly. Alliance power for the daughter, please. Anglo-Saxon. Glaucestshire. I should say that works. More allies. More allies in this war. Glaucestershire. 700 men. It's not nothing. Costs us a lot of prestige to kick out the Northmen. Out of Ireland. But we'll manage. So this Earl here, this very brave Earl, he's coming now. He's sending ships. He's taking care of the Irish crown. Okay, so they got Lanark Shire into their holdings there. Alright. Oh well. So these Northmen, they are they are ferocious foes. They are indeed a formidable enemy. And they keep coming. And they would win as well. Had we not our allies, we would be completely destroyed here. Each and every single time they attack. And our army composition doesn't help at all. Really doesn't. New inspiration can be sponsored. Let's see. For what? We want to forge something wondrous. Merely decent. Let's go. 50 gold. We'll take it. So, regalia, we already have a crown. Let's get a crown. We don't have a crown. We're a king. We should have a crown. I mean, we have we have this thing, but it's not our crown. And another battle won. We need to finish this siege. I mean, we're getting there. Three months left maximum. Let's see. Ah, oh, this one. Mm -mm -mm. Earn me their allegiance. So we can, we can try and negotiate ourselves a good deal. Uh, or... Okay, we, we send the guy here to negotiate a deal. Now, this one specific event. It doesn't immediately lose you the gold that says it will lose you. There is going to be another event following. Uh, where you can negotiate on cost, basically. So, okay. Very good team, managed great. So we got the cooperative stonemasons in Leinster. And control will be changed by plus 20. Which is great. We for sure want control high. Oh god, we got two temples, that's not great. Why is that not great? Because we can't build another castle here. Uh, I'll we'll see. All right, we're almost done with the Northmen. We have won. Let's disband our army. Let's get them some rest. And since we got our lifestyle experience selection here, divided attention, we can have now seven domains. But this will all be given away to our kids upon our succession. So there's a duchy here that we... Well, we can't really create it. We don't have enough pieces of it. It's pretty it's pretty mixed between Ireland, England. Well, uh, actually not England. Mercia. So we could attack Mercia over it. And then we could have this duchy. Maybe. Beneveto? How is Italy up here? Must be some inheritance thing. Okay. I am... I'm impressed. Let's go hold court. We haven't done that in a bit. First petitioner, please. Yes, come forward. Okay, we could give this guy an earldom for his service. <laughs> um, we can give him the earldom and get his sword. Or he leaves the court. Fine. You can have... 
Ui main. I think that's what we just captured, so... Doesn't matter. Let's give him that. I understand you are free of her. Okay. So... What? A Vaseline champion doesn't want to marry her. No. Okay. Our player Aaron's son doesn't want to marry her. Who is... Who are you? Duchy of Flanders. Why don't you want to marry her? Um, okay, so we could be... Then you never... Uh, then you never marry. So this guy won't be our son and heir anymore because he will only be our son but not our heir. He will be a monk. So I don't know exactly who's the next in line. Let's check. This is actually an interesting event. So who's the next in line? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't think I can get to that. But basically it's the next son here. So not, not, not Herm. Him. I mean... Okay, he's not terrible. He's charming and fickle. Okay, so then you'll never marry. Okay, he becomes a monk and he's out of the line of succession. And now this lad here is our new heir. <laughs> Let's give him an educator, maybe. Let's see. Uh, of a guardianship. Do we personally do that? No, I think we're going to give him to her. She's great at what he's going toward diplomacy focus, so. Alright, what do you want? Plowshares to swords? No. Free labor for some gold. Court grandeur and pleased... Peasants. I don't care. You will have the funds you need to build. I'll just give them. We go raid the English. Okay, we're done. We got some court grandeur out of it. Lovely. So. Okay. How high does our court grandeur actually have to be? I think it has to be four. Like where the flag is, that's where you need to be. This is, you can see, this court is at its expected court grand 11, because that's the one. So we need to be there, but we can't actually push it to that, just by spending. Well, actually, no, we can get close-ish, which helps a little bit. We'll do that. We are earning decent now. Okay, very good. So, this is taken care of. This guy here was rewarded for his great services as our knight. And now we can go and raid here because that is Mercia and not England. <laughs> I like that. Let's uh, set another little flag right across the channel here. And we'll get the local raiders. Sadly, our good raiding boy son, he's dead, so. Okay, so these raiders are very small in size. But here's another raider. Wait, is that enough? Yes, it is enough. We need to have more than they have garrison. Okay, no, that's not enough. Uh, now turn right around, please. Okay. Raise local army. We need more troops on that. Okay, that's not a lot. Oh, God. Uh, let's turn you into raiders. This is going great. I could raise all here. Uh, that's just a little bit too much. I don't need all that much in terms of troops. Just need something. A little bit. Just enough to overwhelm a garrison. Because if Mercia raises troops, they have to walk all the way up there. So they're never going to make it. So we're going to get the 30 gold out of this, pretty sure. Your, your artifact main gain a ruler's opinion modifier, a vassal opinion modifier, 
a courtier opinion modifier. I think we want to impress our vassals because we are king now. We are not going to have rulers. We are going to be a ruler. So, yeah, we want to impress our vassals. So they have a better opinion of us. What do you want? Propose deal. That glistening white fur and those copper eyes. I've never seen such a beautiful feline. My spy master, Eleonora, soaked snow thoughtfully before turning back. 15 gold should be plenty. Yes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? How dare you? I would never sell her. But then again. Hmm. Why do we lose six court grand yet? Because I refuse to sell my pet. Paradox Entertainment? Explain yourself. <laughs> Alright, we'll go with this, I think. No. I'm not selling my cat. Go away. Stop that. Alright, and we learned a lot. We learned a little bit about raiding. We learned a little bit about creating the Kingdom of Ireland, which we just did. We learned a little bit about dealing with enemies by making some friends. I think that's a decent start for that. So, if you're watching over on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching over on Twitch, we're going to keep going. Go check it either. Thank you very much, and until the next time, bye.